The scaly tale of the removal of a pet alligator continues right here at Brad's World Reptiles, where the now famous Springfield alligator now resides. This is the one they brought out a couple, three days ago um, that's confiscated. Yeah, that's Attila, still adapting to its new home. And he isn't the only creature or biggest mouth to feed there. Obviously, somebody had it for a uh, pet for 10, 15 years. It looks like it's a little bit older here. He doesn't um, seem to be that um, aggressive. Alligators are pretty mellow compared to crocodiles and caimans. As KZI 9 News reported earlier in the week, the Oregon Department of Agriculture and the Springfield Fish and Wildlife confiscated the beast living in the neighborhood. Fortunately, the large reptile has a new home. But as you know, we take in these rescue animals that would be euthanized by the state because they're illegal in the state. And we have permits for these types of things. Brad says he is no stranger to taking in animals to avoid being put down. We're talking all species of all sizes. Fortunately, are ones that are people will buy them as pets. Uh, whether it's legal or not, um, the, the problem is they do get big. And most people don't have the um, infrastructure to take care of this, these large animals. Coming up at 5, I'll share how Brad became so involved in the relocation of Attila along with its future. Reporting in Corvallis, Noah Chavez, KZI 9 News.